Congratulations. Thank you. What does this mean to be a Tony nominee? It, it's a dream come true. Literally a dream come true. To have, um, to be thinking about something and to, to want something for so long and then to have it actually happen, that's a crazy feeling. Imagine that is that. magic. I hope everyone gets to feel that. And two, it's different for you because you are doing a play. Yeah, yeah, I am doing a play. I've been known for musicals. I've done a lot of musicals. Um, and yeah, I feel like... I'm like a serious actress now. Yeah, I mean, what, serious actress doing this. What about that puppet still, stuff? But this is hard work. Try it. It's hard. Um, you do. Yeah, it's an elbow. It's an elbow thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a music stand. <laughs> that was X rated. Oh come on. It's all up here. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it's two puppets. It is. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. What a fun scene. But you're talking. I mean, just all of that manipulating a puppet as a character. Yeah. And There's acting. four people on that stage. Yes. Yep. Tell me about that. And two of them are pretty vile. <laughs> yes. The ones with no legs. Yeah. Yeah. The ones with no legs, for sure. <laughs> what does it take acting wise? I know you're familiar with it from Avenue Q. Yeah. Does... It's so different than Avenue Q. Really. And the director would often say to me, like when I first started rehearsing it last year for MCC, you know, I in Avenue Q you're one unit. So when you move your hand moves, the puppet moves, your head moves, and you talk at the same time, and it's everything is linked. So I would walk across with Jolene and like sort of do my like Jolene face, and Moritz would be like, Avenue Q, stop, stop. So I had to really watch Steven and really be able to figure out how to separate myself from it. So um, miss then the example would be the example is they're they're just they're two different people. You are one person, yeah. The puppet is someone else. So so Steven and I are. Um, having a very intimate and serious conversation um, which you know and as actors we're trying to really just breathe and be in the moment and, and listen and react and but then the puppets I have a very specific timing and they're feeding off of you know they really listen to the audience to tell them when to move on and what to shift and you know when to wank. <laughs> so it's this thing. Isn't yeah, it, it is. Actually, exponentially. It is. It is, and um, I just have the. I'm so lucky to have Stephen Boyer to play with because it's been just so much fun. Your character, <laughs> even before that part, yeah, I mean, I was drawn to you by your voice. <laughs> okay. But also, kind of, uh, you have these zingers. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's. I think Jessica's the voice of reason in a play that is is kind of insane at times. I mean, these characters, all the rest of the characters are dealing with huge, big feelings and not really sure how to communicate them in a um, calm and sort of adult way. And so uh, Jessica is really, she's like the grounding force in this play. She really says what the audience wants, asks the questions the audience wants to ask and, um, and stays very like rooted and centered. So it's a joy to be able to play that. You know, like just, I'm like a tree on the stage. <laughs> well, everyone else is kind of like blowing in the wind. <laughs> the Tony nomination and yeah. just what it means to you again, just as you go through these next few yeah. weeks. Yeah. Um, just from where you've come till now. Um, I, it's, I think. I know you said it was a dream come true. It, it is, you know what, it ha um, when I talked to, um, I talked to my mom about it the night before and she was like, you know, it's okay either way. And I'm like, oh, I do. I said, but you know, more than anything, I really want this for my manager. I know that sounds crazy, but we've been together. My manager, Brian Leader, and I have been together um, since 2001. And he signed me on a, at a Starbucks on a paper napkin. I was one of his first clients. and. Um, and he just, he believed in me when nobody else did. And he's been with me this whole step. And it's our, it's his first Tony's too. So to, he's going to be by my side. And I just, I can't believe to do it for him has been like, sorry, I'm getting emotional, but it's really amazing. He's amazing. believed in you. He's yeah, to have someone like really, really, really believe in you and support you like that. Um, and to just call you a star when you had no business being called one is really cool. It's cool. Thank you. So much. <laughs> Thank you.